collecting data. Now, we're going to talk about bias data, and bias data can give an inaccurate view of population groups. And this usually happens when you interview the wrong people or gather data from a, from the wrong group of, or a very small group of people. To give a good example of this, um, let's say you wanted to know people's favourite TV show. Okay, so obviously you're not going to do a census because you don't want to ask every single person in the country. It takes too long. You would do a sample, right? And the problem might be that you might ask kids at a childcare centre. And the problem with that is that they're all going to like cartoons and maybe Sesame Street and Play School and, and all those little kids shows, right? So they're going to give an inaccurate view of what people's favourite TV shows. Um, you might want to know people's favourite clothing brand. Brand. And you might ask people at a retirement home. And they're going to give opinions based on much older people. And it's not going to give an accurate view of what clothing brands people like. Now, it's important. Um, what you need to understand is we can't always do a census. We can't always interview everyone. And so whenever you do a sample, you, you can get biased data and you've got to really make an effort to make sure that this doesn't happen.